Hi there, my name's Sam, and we're jumping back in here to Veronaville, and we're uh, playing the, the Monty household, this uh, Bianca Monty's household, and her uh, new foster home is essentially what we have created here. Um, so there's a couple of things I would like to mention um, before we get going, and I'm going to hit play and let these two do their thing. So firstly... I wanted to, um, a lot of people have been mentioning it to me and stuff, and I've, you know, I've been responding, responding in comments and everything, but I wanted to also say in video form, uh, thank you very much for a thousand subscribers. It's really cool and very surprising. Um, but yeah, so that's really neat. And then secondly, I also, um, wanted to say, mention that I have been mainly focusing on The Sims 2 again and kind of taking a break from worrying about Sims 1 and Sims 3 videos just because lately it's just been easier for me to just focus on my main two Veronaville and Strangeview series. So there's that. And just in case anyone was wondering where Sims 3 and Sims 1 is, I will eventually get back to it. But um, these two toddlers are just like constantly drawing and then stopping and then starting again. <laughs> anyway, um, one thing is... So the season, I think, is about to, like, swap over. And I kind of stopped at a weird time just because of the way things happened with adopting all the kids and doing everything. I had gotten tired from decorating, redecorating the house. I didn't feel like keep uh, doing too long of an episode and all of that. So this is going to be, like, a shorter episode. And I think I'm going to play, like, one day into spring or something just to give us a little bit of extra time to see the kids and stuff and see Bianca try to juggle them. So, yeah... Everybody's kind of sleeping. I guess I'm going to fast forward until we're all awake here. Speaking of being awake, actually, Bianca, I need you to get up. She's, let's see, these toddlers kind of need to be handled. I'm wondering if Bianca's going to have to quit her day job and just stay to take care of kids. I mean, eventually these two are going to probably be grown and we won't have to worry about it. It'll be like a, be like next round is when they'll become children, so... Maybe not. We'll stick with her job. Oh, I forgot she's pregnant. I completely forgot she's pregnant. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> she's pregnant. I wonder if she's going to have her baby within the next day or so. Maybe that'll be our, our goal is to wait till she has her baby and then um, we'll end the episode. Um, we need to do some baby caretaking, I think. This one's about to be dirty. And there it goes. <laughs> there it goes. Can we get the bottle. Very nice. How about you serve some pancakes? Child, okay, did you did you not? Okay. So we decided to not do- Oh no, he stole the bottle. Okay, what's, what's happening over here? Oh, we have some some friendly friendliness happening. Is that his sleepwear? His jeans and a shirt? Child, what is, okay. <laughs> Things are a little busy around here. Things were just a little bit busy. Everybody's awake. I was trying to get her to serve breakfast. What time does she go to work? 9 a.m. She might have a little bit of time, but I think the kids are going to be away at school. Oh, look at <laughs> Asaya. His pajama. I need to get rid of these pants in my game. It came from like a pack of like edited uh, Maxis stuff, like an expansion of some Maxis clothes. And I think I need to just get rid of them because everybody has them. <laughs> <laughs> All my sims are barefoot. Everybody come get some pancakes. Oh crap, they're all headed off to school. Well, we tried. Oh, that's right. Bianca also is going to be home on pregnancy leave. I forgot about that, so... That'll be something. Yeah, we're just going down the line here, eating all the pancakes. I feel like we could maybe try to teach the kid. Oh, this one's really tired. They're, oof, they're both wicked tired. Let's put... Put them both away. I'm sorry. Oh no, please don't. Okay. <laughs> the way she slowly stepped over the toy and then kept running. Oh crap, that's right. They all have to go. Uh, okay. So we have some chaos. Okay, Ginger is doing slightly better at school but still has horrible grades. Slightly better, horrible, horrible, horrible. Okay. So we're doing good. <laughs> they also have to go to uh, work pretty soon, which sucks. Um, so we need to do some homework. Let's see, Asaya, do you have to, you have to work? But I'm gonna have you do homework until your carpool arrives. I guess we'll just we're gonna do some work homework organization here. 
You do your homework. We've got the homework gang in here. Look at that. You finished it right up quick. You too. Uh-oh, she's got to go to to work. You know what? Her homework is more important than work. She can walk to work late. Oh, I guess not. Oh, she finished it. Okay. That's good. So who's home? Gavin's home. Ga no, Gallagher's going. We'll see. I think there was at least one that didn't have to work. Okay. Wait. No, she's at work. Phone is ringing. Come answer the phone. Come answer the phone, Gavin. Mr. Gavin. These kids have... Oh my gosh, he has a really long bio. Gavin, no, we don't need to... Oh, here's the school bus. Do they all have bios? I don't think I, I read their bios. Should I do that? <laughs> Let's see, maybe we'll... I'm gonna let things play out. Once we're kind of getting to know them all. I didn't even remember that they had them. So Gallagher... This Gallagher is one of a kind. He is a happy child who tends to be shy around strangers. He stays to himself more than any other children, but he is coming out of his shell day by day. Will his siblings continue to bring out the best in him? Well, that's very wholesome. Then we have Gavin. At his age, Gavin never thought he would be adopted. He is grateful for the chance at a real family and has come to fiercely love his brothers and sisters. In fact, Gavin couldn't imagine life without them. He decided long ago that he would do better, do whatever it took to protect and care for them. So that's referring to the fact that the, the, the Newson clan is a group of adopted kids as it is. But they're like their parents, parent or parents died, I think is the story. Oh, she wants to become best friends with Bottom. I want her to, I think that's cute. I know that they kind of hung out before. So Ginger, Ginger has a troubled was a troubled child with a troubled past before flowering under the loving kindness of her adopted mother gloria with gloria gone ginger faces the unknown challenges of being an adult and acting as a mother for her siblings and so asaya now asaya is not from the newson clan he is a separate boy asaya has inherited the best qualities from each of his parents Asaya's knack for fixing things, coupled with his artistic eye, may open up a future that is bright, beautiful and bright. Interesting. So we got little, little Miss Gabriella, who I think seems very cool. Where's your bio, Gabriella? Gabriella's bio. Gabriella is a pre. Gabriella is a precocious child. Has been dubbed the princess of the Newson family. <laughs> she seems like it. This little wonder enjoys the lavish love and attention of her siblings and has a knack for wrapping people around her little finger. <laughs> I don't know, do the babies have much? Oh my gosh. The baby's got longer bio than the rest of them. Garrett and his twin sister Georgia were adopted most recently and loved as if they had always been around. They play well with each other and merrily get along with the rest of the family. These two manage to bring more laughter and happiness into the Newson household. Is this the, probably the same bio? Yeah, so it's identical for the two twins, but that's okay. Uh, speaking of the twins, things are not things are not good. <laughs> what are you doing, ma'am? Oh my gosh, she is so tired. Where is she? <sighs> okay. <laughs> Can you wake up? Sleep in pajamas. Gavin, you are home, so you know what? You're going to take care of some of these babies here. Change diaper. They're not really hungry, they're just dirty. So him... The phone is ringing again, and I'm going to ignore it. Oh no, I guess not. Um, little, uh, little Gabriella decided she was going to answer it. Is Gavin available to talk? Who is that? No, I'm guessing... Oop. Just had a weird reset with Gavin. So I guess we did actually have kind of a full day with these guys while still being in this season. So that's interesting. Okay, little Asaya came home with his nice, nice little, uh, Fancy outfit here. Everybody's coming out of the clown car. Come on, crew. Load out. At least they all did their homework and everything already. Can somebody... Oh, he wants to become friends with Romeo. Everybody wants to... Can somebody come and do some cleaning up? We need, we need some helping hands in this house right now, y'all. There we go. Good job, Gavin. We're having just kind of chill old night times here. Um, Bianca's asleep upstairs. She's very tired. How about you come clean up this mess instead of making fun of your sister's piano playing? Oops. Crap. 
Clean up. Clean up. Here, how about you call Romeo on the phone? Maybe. It might be too late. I don't know. Let's see. We can make friends here, buddy. Buddy old pal. Let's, uh, let's just talk. We're just gonna talk and try to make friends. You know what? I'm gonna lock in Ghost Steady, because she seems to be obs- I think that's a good option for her. I don't know who is an option for her, though, you know? I probably have to bring her to a community lot. Hmm, there's Hal Cap. She knows Hal Cap. He's in her age range. Not sure who. That, that'll be the interesting part. We have all this, technically, this fresh blood for Veronaville, but it's a matter of finding them partners and everything. Gonna be lots of townies. This is gonna end up be a, a, a whole playthrough of playing townies that I've never gotten to play before. <laughs> Okie dokie. Do you want to eat something? Maybe we need to... I don't know if there's leftovers to be had. There must be. Sure, have whatever that is. I'm sure that's good. Sure that's a good time. Everybody's being very nice to the babies and helping them. Oh, somebody has homework. You, stop playing piano and do your homework, please. Everybody does their homework in this house. Also, she's very tired. Oh, okay. We have some chaos happening here. <laughs> So, uh, I was just kind of letting them do their thing. <laughs> and as you can see, there's there's something being interrupted here. All the, all the boys are around here. They're like, uh-oh, what do we do? Oh, that's a full house right now. We got some best friendship. Oh, yeah, so, so this is Juan's baby. So we can either choose Juan with his last name or Bianca Monty. I think I'm going to go with Monty. Oh, no, not the error. Oh crap, okay. I don't know what happened. <laughs> it looks like it is a girl. Um kind of name we would go for okay i did a little looking up i i like looking at sometimes i like to look up names where um it, like a list it gives you a list of similar names or somehow related names or associated names i found the name on the name sonia i think that's kind of a nice little name you guys hopefully i spelled it right i think i did so we have a little baby girl we do have a crib already already Oh, we got- he wants to go to college. I'm gonna lock that in. Um, also we decided to put down the baby immediately and look out the window. How about we put the baby in the crib? In one of the cribs? Let's put Sonya away. Please. Let me, let, it, let me in at the baby here. Also, the, um, season has just changed over. So that was kind of our little goal for this tiny little episode was finishing up our season and having a baby. <laughs> and that we have done. Wants to study about parenting. I'm gonna lock that in. Wait, I think we need to finish this out with a proper, uh, a proper moment. Let's see if we are we. We must be allowed to slap dance. She still has that locked in. Or she did. I unlocked it a second ago. But let's see. I think I think we need to do a proper. Can we can we do a dance at any point? Wait. Hmm. Can we not slap dance? How come, man? Darn, I guess allegedly, allegedly, we did not properly learn the slap dance. Well, that sucks. Because you're supposed to have it under the option. Oh man. I was gonna I was gonna end this episode with a proper slap dance. We're gonna let's end it with a schmushle. Let's schmushle. Everybody smushle. Everybody smushle. <laughs> we we were. We were all gonna smushle. Are you not gonna smushle, sir? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> we have some final smussling happening. This, this is our this is the end of of our uh, time with this household. <laughs> um, so this is the last household for our Veronaville round, and we will be playing the college kids next, which I think will be really fun. The college kids always are fun, so I'm very excited for that. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye. Ta -da!